Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to add lower thirds to your videos. Now, if you have not seen my open shot playlist, be sure to check that out in the description area below. Now, lower thirds are something most people have seen on TV and also on YouTube. So let me show you how this looks like. So if you notice on the bottom left, I have some text and graphics coming in. And there's another one right there. So those are lower thirds. And I think they actually add a little bit more of professionalism to your videos and they just simply look cool. Now I do have lower thirds on my videos as well. However, the ones I'm gonna show you how to create today are gonna to be a lot better than the ones that I use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to open shot. And what you wanna do here is go to title right there and we're going to go ahead and create the lower thirds. Now within OpenShot there are some pre-built lower thirds right here and there's also upper thirds I guess you could call them that as well. However I like to create my own so it really doesn't matter which one you choose because we're going to edit. So go right here and go to use advanced editor and what this would do is it actually open up Inkscape. So I'm not going to be using the text here so we'll go ahead and delete that and now what we're going to do here is add a shape. Now there are various shapes that you can use. You can use rectangle squares, a 3D box, which is really cool. Check that out. You know, it's, you could get really crazy with your designs. Or you could also do circles and ellipses as well right here. But we're going to keep it simple today. We're just going to do a box. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a box. Let's make that larger. And then you could put some color into it as well. So that's going to be our box. Now the next thing we want to do is actually add the text. So click on the text right here. Just type in your text. And now you can actually change the font and color as well. Just go ahead and double click inside the text. Go up here to your different fonts. And then just choose the fonts that you like. And now you can change the color as well and also the size. There are some predefined sizes but you can also type in your own font size as well. And then here go back to the selection tool and now you can move your text. Okay, And you could also change the positioning of your box as well. If it's too high just move it down a little bit lower. Okay, And there you go. So now that you're done with this, you can save it, close this and now you can name the title let's just name it intro title okay then save and now it's available in your project so now you just go ahead and let's bring this down to your project timeline right here and there it is so if you press play it's actually overlaid on top of your video so here we could stop right here if that's all you want or you could actually add some different effects and transitions. Now there's some simple ones you could add right away. You could add a simple fade effect right here. Okay. Now let's go back to the beginning, press play. It'll fade in. And then you could also have it fade out as well. Go down here. And then right click on your mouse and reverse transition. And so let me show you how that looks like. So it fades in, looks great, and now it's going to start fading out. Okay, so very simple transitions there. Now there are obviously many other things that you could do here. You could also add animation, which is what I had on my lower thirds. So here there are some pre-built animation already within OpenShot. So if you right click, you see animate. And here there are different animations, okay? You could have it go from left to right. Let me show you how that looks like. So if I press play, see it comes in from the left and then it'll go all the way to the right. And then let's take out the animation. Let's add a different animation. Let's just say we want it to go center to edge, center to left, press play and it is slowly start going to the left. Okay, so you could also use those as well. However, 
I do like to create my own. So what I wanted to do is come in from the left where it doesn't appear, come here and then do some animations and then disappear. Okay. So how we would do that is we can use the transform tool. So here, just right click, go to transform. And with the transform, you could move it wherever you want. You could resize it. But here to keep things really consistent, what we're going to do is move it all the way to the left at the beginning and it'll come to the right as the video starts. So you come here to location X and then adjust the X position. So now it's going to come in from the left and then to the right. And then you decide where you want it to appear on the right. So let's say I want it right there to appear right here, right? So now you right click again, go to transform. And then here on your location X, change the location X to zero. So where it ends up where it began. Okay. At the beginning, you see? So if I go back and I press play, there it is. It comes right in there. So that looks a lot cooler. And um, you can also add various effects right here. This, which is what I've done on my lower thirds. So here are all the different effects. Let's just say I want like a big losange effect and I'll leave it right here at the beginning. So we could move this right here. So what I happen here is at the beginning, as it's coming in, it's going to have an effect. So let's go there. See, it's a transition effect. So it was really subtle and you could also make it longer as well, but you see what I mean. Now you could also have it fade away or have an effect to make it disappear. Um, or you could also have the animation animated back to the left. Okay. But here I'm going to put in another animation or transition. Let's just go ahead and use this blinds sliding. So we do it right here and we'll just do it right there. And the difference with this one is you want it to go the different or the opposite way, you know, instead of appearing, it's going to disappear. Let me show you what I mean. So if I press play right here, see it disappears, then it's fading in. But what I actually wanted to do is to actually go reverse. Okay. So what you do is you right click on the transition and then reverse transition. So let me show you how that looks. So when you press play, see it disappears. So it goes the opposite way. And so the rest of it, you could delete this, like what I'm going to do here. I use the razor tool and then I just deleted it. And here you move this effect a little bit further, this transition effect. And so let's see how that looks. So you press play, it comes in and animates and then it animates away. So very simple, but it looks really good. And there are so many different things that you can do here. You know, basically the way you want your lower thirds to look and operate, it's really up to your creativity. Okay. Now you can also add other different lower thirds as well. Say for example, you wanted to also add a subscribe and like lower third right after this, but you want it to be in the same size and position. Okay. So the easiest way to do that is duplicate the existing you know, title that you've already created. So if you go up here, you right click, you duplicate the title. Now when you're here, use the advanced editor again. And now you could change this. Okay, so we'll go to text. Let's just change this to subscribe. And like. And we'll delete this right here. And you could definitely adjust the size of this as well. If you like, you know, you could change the font again. But what I really want to do here is adjust the size of the box. So go right here, select your box, and then you could increase the size of the box. And if you wanted to, you could also change the color as well. So let's just say I like blue. Okay. And you could also change the opacity. Okay. So say you like that, right? Let's go ahead and save it. Let's close this. Now name the file. Save it. And now it's available. Now you do the same thing. You just bring it down here. Let's see how that looks like. Right now there's no other effects on it. So it'll just appear like that. So we'll do the same thing. We could add a different transition. Let's just choose, let's just choose the boxes transition. I'm not sure how that's going to look like, but we just want it to appear in a really cool manner. So if I press play again, 
disappears new one comes in great and then the same thing here you could add another transition effect or you could make it slide to the left so we could do that we'll go ahead and use the transform again and you could go ahead and slide it to the left okay and so let's see how that looks disappears okay so in this case I actually didn't want it to go that way right away but you get the point so let's go ahead and reverse that and I'm just gonna have it transition off of there with a different effect let's just go ahead and choose a bigger box there move that right here right click reverse transition and then I'm gonna de delete this excess part right here delete that okay let's see how this looks like okay so we're gonna start from the beginning comes in at the beginning fades away the other one comes in and then it'll go ahead and disappear okay and so that is how you add lower thirds and as I said the way that you want to design it and create it it is up to you you can get super creative with this and like I said it just adds that extra level of professionalism you know it just looks really nice to have this on your video and you know since you do create this yourself you can reuse it as I said here and edit it over and over so if you had any thoughts or your own methods of creating lower thirds be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.